Well, it's day two of World Swiss Stage with coverage brought to you by you. I'm joined right now by Contracts and Palafox, who have just had a pretty one-sided game against Team Liquid, I'll be honest. Uh, all right, so yesterday you guys had a one-sided game. Today you have a one-sided game. Those sides were different each day. Uh, so what allowed you to bounce back Pal Fox from yesterday's match? Um, I was just a bit nervous yesterday, and I think kind of we, we all were, really. Um, if you look at the gameplay, the game was really hard from, uh, from early game on our side, and I think that like because of that, we all might have felt like a little bit desperate. Um, and then, you know, that's just the first game. Second game, there's like no nerves. We know we're better than TL, so. Yeah, I mean, whenever you pulled them yesterday in the draw, what was your reaction? I mean, we were saying don't get complacent. You know, they did well. But I feel like deep down in our hearts, we also knew, like, I mean, we're just a lot more comfortable with them. We've played with them, you know, numerous times in LCS. So we feel like we kind of just know how they play and their style. And we, we knew, like, kind of what to draft against them. So I definitely think we are just quite more comfortable. Yeah. Well, let, let me ask you, because I think... A lot of fans, those that stayed up late last night or woke up early to watch the games, they looked at those games and they're like, ah, oh, it's Jover for NRG and Team Liquid and Cloud9 are our hopes. Team Liquid actually a competitive, blah, blah, blah. And then today happens, and I think a lot of them are going to be scratching their heads. So even though I know you guys had the better regular season, I think a lot of people probably expected that, okay, th the balance has shifted now that they've been in Korea for a while. So what do you think is actually going on, Pal Fox, or what do you think happened to sort of explain the disconnect for a lot of fans? Um, Weibo is a world's contender, um, and they are a very good team, and they played very good against us. And uh, I don't think T1 played the best against TL. And on top of it, I think TL was playing uh, pretty well on that day. So, you know, people can have good games and bad games, and exceptional games, and also non-exceptional games, right? What does this do for you guys as a team in terms of like mentally preparing for the rest of Swiss? I think just getting a win on world stage kind of just, it's like some momentum, you know? It's, uh, I think we just have to play very calm and confident going to our next match, no matter who the opponent is. It's just, think about it as champions for champions. And I think if we're just playing to our own win condition and our own play style, I feel like we will do very well. Um, we just have to get rid of that that hump we just need to play with confidence yeah gotta do that well it seems like you did you did today so uh I, if you got that going i think it'll be really smooth sailing from here on out hopefully uh are there any teams that you are hoping to face over the course of this swiss stage okay it's like maybe not in the swiss stage you know maybe in like in scrims first but i really want to play against Chovy. um I think it'll just be a good time. Yeah. A good time for you? Okay, I like maybe I'm a bit of a masochist, you know, but like like what if I beat Chovy? Feels so good, right? Yeah. But even if I'm getting smashed by Chovy, I'm like damn. Like damn. Yeah. You know, like damn. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. In <laughs> well, you learn, I guess, a lot in those situations, hopefully. Uh, what did you think of the Jahu quote about you that went crazy? Um I mean, it's really nice to have that said about me. At the, like, on the other side, it's like being able to say that about, about an opponent is like, it means you're confident against them. Um, so on, honestly, I kind of just want to, I mean, I really want to be Jahu. I feel like it's just like, when you say something like that, you're just showing that you're more confident. So, yeah. uh, Contracts, what was your reaction when you saw Pal Fox's Twitter uh, recently, he tweeted out something that was, I wouldn't say controversial, but somewhat sensational. Did you I hear like about this? Boobs. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that one is uh, qu quite old. an old one. That one's from last December. Okay. So I've, I've been knowing, knowing this for quite a while now, but to see it trending <laughs> is quite funny. <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah. Whoever um, made the tweet, thumbs up. I don't know how people remember that, but that is literally a picture that's a year old. That person was like saving it for this moment or something. I don't know. <laughs> did that? Uh, did that give you any shakes yesterday before you went on stage? You know, it's like suddenly you're getting exposed for this old tweet. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm getting exposed. I don't think that's like a controversial thing to <laughs> say. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, anyway, let's get uh, back into the matches. So we're 
where do you think you all are in the sort of comparison to Cloud9 as well right now in terms of, of international performance? Because I think a lot of people are continuing that trend of like, oh, C9 is oftentimes the international performer. Yesterday, they did a pretty good job of taking out Mad Lions. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to scrim them. I know that they said they were scrimming Team Liquid, but I'm kind of curious for the fans who are trying to like figure out where to invest their stock dollars in North American teams right now. What do you think of sort of where energy stands versus Cloud9 on the international stage? Obviously, stage is, is quite different um, compared to scrims, for sure. Um, you know, play, people just play differently. Play styles are different. I like to say we play better on stage for the most part. It's not... It's not it's just a fact. We suck in scrims. If we have a, a scrim day where we're winning, it means we're a lot better than that okay. team so on stage. So if that's a lot the, the case, time. if that's the case, my little birdies are telling me energy is doing better than C9 in scrims. Okay. So that might just translate better to stage. But yeah. it's not a competition between us and NA. It, yeah. It's just we're just trying to do our best against you know international teams and, and prove that you know we belong here. I feel like the pendulum is going to dramatically shift to after today back towards uh, energy in terms of where people are excited to see uh, what you guys can do. Uh, what do you think of the format? Because obviously, I mean, uh, this is your first Worlds uh, contracts. You were here a long time ago. But what do you think of, of the sort of interesting Swiss situation, especially with the ability for these civil wars to occur? Because people were kind of complaining about the yesterday after the draw. Oh, okay. I mean, for me, I'm just... I think that in other, like the previous group stage draw, like let's say uh, an Eastern team was playing against like uh, an Asian team that like had just a really bad time at Worlds, you could get lucky and like go further. Um, but with Swiss, I think there's like almost less luck, less and more luck. Like the fact that there's two um, Korean teams playing against each other, who is it, DK and, and KT, yeah. like that's just so unlucky. If they happen to draw another like unlucky opponent or they're just like mentally defeated, like. It's just like really unlucky for them. On the flip side, you can get really lucky. But at the end of the day, like I think there's like less luck involved um, in this format than there is in the other one. So if we happen to get out, we're just a go to NA. How about you, Contracts? Um, I think the format is definitely pretty interesting. I think having the opportunity to play a best of three no matter what is like pretty good because yeah. it shows like I think it just shows more of what a team is capable of uh, throughout you know a world run and. Um, you know, that's just more exciting for the fans. It's better for the teams. Um, I think regarding, like, it's been a while since I've been to Worlds. Uh, honestly, Last Worlds is, like, pretty much a blur in my mind. Uh, I only remember, like, my best of five in, like, some games and group stages. So I feel like I'm just trying to, like, take it day by day and just, you know, live in the moment. Yeah. Well, I think we're running out of time. So is there anything either of you would like to say to any of the fans out there? I like boobs. I knew he was going to say that, dude. I was going to... Uh, yeah, good one. How about you, how about you contracts? Anything you do? I always that? back up my mid laner okay. right For, behind him. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad to have such impressive statements from North American uh, talent here on the world stage. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things Worlds right here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching that video. It is sponsored by you. Uh, and when I say you, I mean like you the person watching this video, because maybe you'll hit up the link tree link below to uh, check out any of the number of, number of different ways to support me since I don't have a sponsor for this event, but maybe you can't do that, and that's totally cool. You can support me for no money at all by uh, just watching another YouTube video on my channel. That's always super helpful, or you can subscribe if you haven't, or you can like this video. You can share it somewhere. All those things actually really help as well uh, and try to grow the channel, so... Uh, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully uh, you can find it in your heart, your cold, jaded heart, because I know it's a cruel world to spare me a like on this video.